Y'all, we have come across this video called Europeans on TikTok won't shut up about America. Hey, we as Americans might have some stuff to say about this. I think we definitely will have oh. something to say about it. Yeah. Do no it. other discussion needed. Let's just go in. Three, two, one. I don't know who needs to hear this, but sometimes it's in a European's dream to meet an American and tell us how much they don't like America. <laughs> yup! And it's about damn time we start having this conversation! Europeans and Australians don't hate America. They're obsessed with it because they talk about America more than they talk about their own damn country. I'm honestly convinced America's the dumbest country in the world. Like, why do you call petrol gas when it is literally a liquid? Oh, I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> maybe because it's an abbreviation of the word gasoline. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. We've gotten that. We've gotten that over on ETS. I don't know why they call it gas. It's obviously a liquid. Gasoline. Yeah. yeah. Now, gasoline. let me ask y'all this. Why are y'all so obsessed with us? Why do we <laughs> yeah. live rent free in your head? <laughs> because why don't you fix do. your own problems and then come talk about ours? <laughs> exactly. And then everyone just left. Yes. <laughs> yes. They obviously aren't referring to a state of matter. Australians call it petrol, and that's just short for petroleum. So if we can abbreviate words, why can't they? And then you go out there and you make up these niche sports, which no one else in the world plays, and you call your winners world champions. Also, alongside Liberia and Myanmar, you're one of only three countries in the world which use the imperial system, who also coincidentally don't have their shit together. Grow up. You <laughs> want to tell Americans to grow up when you're the one sitting there whining and whinging about how a country does things a little bit differently to you. Hey. But you know what I find hilarious? When anybody gets asked what our height is in Australia, most of us will say this. Oh, I'm five foot four inches. Never will you hear anybody say, oh, I'm 163 centimeters. So what now? When you are in Europe. Uh -huh. you know, uh huh. You know, hear me out on this, man. Like, this is what I was thinking about the other day. Um, you know how much we must have hated the Brits to just create our own shit. Yeah, that hatred is so deep, and we followed through so much that we're like, okay, it doesn't make sense, but it's ours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how much we hated them. Mm -hmm. don't tax so, our tea and so yeah that's that's where that comes from and we stuck by it we stuck by it very well yeah all over some imperial metric water all over some was it, was it metric leaf water metric leaf is. water I, I couldn't remember what it was i'm 163 centimeters so what now when you are an european living in california and refuse to use the car to go everywhere when did y'all start acting like pick me's because of the way that people choose to transport themselves from A to B? Do you want me to give you a cookie and a gold medal because you chose to walk instead of drive a car? This traffic light takes 10 minutes to go green. And when it does, I have 30 seconds to cross the road. I will not give up on my walks to places. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it takes a little bit longer because you're waiting to cross what is obviously a main road and not just a local street. Clearly the wait is going to be just a little bit longer than it would be in a more quiet neighborhood. If you can't cross that distance in 30 seconds, that's a skill issue, unfortunately. <laughs> the Europe... <laughs> no, 100%. 100%. That's uh, we're we're cars all the way, dude. Yeah, we're a car country. It's part of our culture. Like, just look at those fifties and sixties uh, roadside diners. That's part of Americana. Yeah, and, that's yeah, man. I, and I, oh. good for you for whoever this uh, posted this for having a job that's walkable. We all want that. We do. Yeah, it's just not possible. No, because we we built our. Yep our society around cars yeah that that that's 
that's that's it. If you if you are looking to visit this country, get ready to rent a vehicle. Like yeah. that has to be part of it. Unless your whole stay and all you want to do is stay in a city, which I don't blame you if that's what you want to do. If you want to explore a city at a time, like a big city, then right. okay, fair enough. Don't don't get a a car. That that's even a, right. that's a right. headache. Right. I'm going to New York in two days. I am not taking a car. No. I'm taking the bus up there Smart. and I'm going to take the subway everywhere I go. Yep. I'm not going to drive up there because I just drove seven, eight hours back and forth to Nashville, Tennessee to make some moves. So yeah. that's how yeah. many how many states over is Nashville? Oh, from it's, you? it's one state over. Yeah. I'm in North Carolina eight hours, guys. You drove yeah. eight hours <laughs> yeah. to get to the next state. Yeah. So, and that's another thing is that a lot of non Americans uh, like to poke fun of us for not traveling outside of our country. Our country is that big. We've got plenty of stuff here already. Yeah. And plus, and it's expensive as I'll get out to travel to other countries, yeah. even to Canada. It's expensive. Yeah. If you, if you just treat each state, as its own country where it almost could have been, you know, um, like just think of it that way. Think yeah. of it that way. If you, if you put the U S and that's why we don't really, we're very insular because it, we have a lot going on. Yeah. We already know? have enough going on in this country already. Yeah. Like yeah. Each, each of our own States has its own quirks, has its own, uh, history, its own sports teams, its own cuisines, its own music artists, its own yep. stuff, you know? Yeah. So if you and think of each and every state as its own country, it'll make a little more sense why, why Americans don't travel that much. Yep. Why, we, the majority of us don't have passports. You know right. what I mean? Like right. it's, it's, it's crazy. But anyway, yeah, you're going to come here to walk. You're crazy. Yeah. You're crazy. Yeah. That's, and, and you're not going to win against, you're not going to prove any point. Yeah, this this person is just being hard headed. Is yeah, all it is. Distance in thirty seconds. That's a skill issue, unfortunately. The European urge to walk absolutely everywhere, even in a country that was built for cars. Oh, is that why you're walking on a sidewalk? <laughs> the <laughs> weird looks I get every time. Why do you guys think Americans care so much about you walking? They don't! You're not getting weird looks because you're walking. You're getting weird looks because you're filming yourself like this in public. <laughs> Context clues are important here, babe. People in the US. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't really think about anybody who's just walking down the street. Like, they're not harming anybody. They don't as long as they're not harming anybody, I don't really look at them. Yeah, I'm not like, oh, look, he must be European. Yeah. Yeah, they're walking on the sidewalk. Sidewalk, by the way. It'd be different. You would get strange looks if you're cutting across a field. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then, 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 but then that's, you're playing with your life if you're doing that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yes. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, if we, we are, we have our blinders on. Uh, remember, America, like a lot of us are very us centric. Yeah. So, yeah, we're a just, lot of stuff doesn't exist on out there. We are yeah, very focused. Yeah. We're more focused on what we're doing. Yeah. We don't really care that you're uh, trying to prove a point that, no. hey, I'm European. I walk everywhere. What are you trying to prove? Yeah. You're not, you're not going to win that battle. And if, it, if that's the one you want to win, good for it. Try it. Yeah. Try, try it. It's not going to work. You're going to have a bad time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you might get a few looks if you're, you know, yeah. filming yourself, which, you know, because I I use it to promote my original music. I've gotten that a couple of times. I don't give a shit. It's it is what it is. I'm hustling here. But, you know, I was going to say something. I lost it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I lost it. I uh, lost it. Something I just, about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And and know where you're going, guys. If you're choosing yeah. to fight this battle and you're going to walk everywhere, probably not a good idea to choose Cali where it's fucking hundreds of degrees. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do, do, like, do that and maybe like Colorado or like yeah. 
like Nebraska or somewhere like your nice, earth, like, nicer climate. That don't go like hot ass fucking California to do that, or somewhere where it's similar climate to where you come from, like yeah. I don't know New York or Massachusetts. Yeah, so. Context clues are important here, babe. Yes, they are. People in the U.S. selling yourself, talking about achievements, salaries, career milestones. But people in Europe never even ask where you work. They're all about personality and charisma. As someone who has been to the U.S. five times, I can confidently say that within the hundreds of Americans that I had conversations with, not a single one of them ever mentioned their salary. You just made that up! You can't generalize a country of almost 350 million people because of a bad conversation you had with one person. But secondly, since when did it become a bad thing to talk about your achievements? Are people just not allowed to be proud of the milestones they've made in their career anymore? Talking to friends back in the US is such a bizarre experience. They just talk about work and new gadgets they've bought. That's, That's what happens when you're an adult. Your life basically revolves around your work. So of course you're going to have conversations about it with other people. But also, oh no, God forbid somebody wants to bring up a new gadget they've bought recently as a conversation starter. If you've bought an air fryer, I want to hear all about the crazy concoctions you've made in that thing. You made toasted ravioli in that air fryer? Damn! I have never heard of that. Was it good? Do you think I would like it? What else have you tried? <laughs> I'm all ears. Why do you hate fun? How Europe? Yeah, why? That's it. Why do you hate, <laughs> do you hate fun? fun? You know, um, but we, we've we've noticed this in a couple. And see, that is, I like this girl's tenacity. Yeah. But remember, we have our Northern European friends who stay sh quiet about their, let's say, achievements and stuff. Yeah, right? and that is something countries. that's yeah. that's something I admire, but that's not something that we do. That's just cultural here. That's just yeah. not something we do. I admire your ability up there to just stay humble, stay low, you know, under the radar. Here, it's you have to be different. You got to yeah. be noticed. Yeah, and stand that's out. One of our biggest pros, and on top of it, one of our biggest cons. That's. Yeah. Uh, it's it's great and freaking terrible yeah yeah and like when we mention our other channels like my music channel my food channel your military channel your ai music channel yeah your, yeah uh what else uh all, all conspiracy theory podcast with <laughs> yeah. Albler. yeah uh like that can be off-putting to non-americans we get yes. it but you know that what else do you talk about when you're an adult uh, you know and especially since our lives literally our lives are work we work until we die yeah like, it, that's it that's it that's it that's all we got that's all we got is work and so when you're talking about work salaries are probably not that far behind that conversation yeah. right right you know or you compare salaries because and it's not to brag it's more like to find out like real yeah. world shit like all right, you make this, doing this at this position, this job opens up, that's a similar position. I might go for that knowing that that might be a, a base level entry position uh, salary. So yeah. I will pay attention if I see that in the in the work in the workspace. Yeah. Like How can I better my life? Yeah. That's that's what it is. It's not it's not um salary measuring or success measuring. It's more yeah. of like we don't know. Right, right. We want to, you know, be sure we're getting what the we right, deserve. Exactly. It, it's not a dick waving competition. No. No. Yeah. So. But yeah, I want to hear about your air new air fryer or what yeah. other gadget you did. Like I just got a foldable guitar and I talked about that on one of those channels I just mentioned. Super so, neat, man. It's hey, super neat. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it, man. Yeah. What are, what what have you bought recently that uh you want to talk about before we go on <laughs> that, that i've talked oh um i just after after probably 12 years of being out of the video game scene i purchased a nintendo switch and nice. i'm relearning how to play video games with my son 
Hell so, yeah. That's what so, I'm talking about. Yeah, That's man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that it's li- just that little stuff. Yeah. It's just something nice we wanted to share with y'all. Yep. That's all. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. Let's proceed. I love I love her tenacity, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, finally, you know what? Because it's like we're flooded with stuff that's just berating the U.S. all the time. Yeah. And I get it. We're easy targets. Right. Still right. once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> like Halo, time. Haley, you got our subscription. Hey. You're invited to the cookout. Yep. Any day. Mm-hmm. What else have you tried? I'm all in. Why do you hate fun? How Europeans drink coffee. Oh. And then she says that versus how Americans do it while well, getting dressed to go and get Starbucks because apparently everyone has time in their day to spend 15 to 20 minutes making a cup of coffee in the morning. You want to know a fun fact? Um, there's over a thousand Starbucks cafes across Europe. Uh-huh. Clearly, hot drinks to- Whoa, 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 let me run that back. Over a thousand- All right, I, I want to see the counts of all of these places. Uh, uh, ba 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 it's like 982 wow. in Great Britain and uh, 428 in what is that? Uh, Turkey, uh, what? and 154 in France. Is that Greece? In, no, 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 Greece is uh, the blue one with 27. So, so they 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 got them Starbucks over there. And hey, I know this I see, is, I see a country with seven, seven. <laughs> well done, well done, keeping the juggernaut away, yeah. But, yeah, but Spain with 126. Yeah, um, hey man, it doesn't even show how much Italy has. They probably mm-hmm. don't have any in Italy because they, they have their own thing. They know how to do coffee. Yep. And, and, and this this is an uh, I think this is an Australian person that's talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've already discussed why Starbucks failed in Australia because they got a great coffee uh, over there. But hey, yeah. Starbucks is like a tick. For us yeah. over here, and not yeah. me personally, but for many that are mm-hmm. in the drive-through, right? Now. Right. It's, so it, it's about the same as you know a McDonald's or yep. KFC. Like we got to get our fix somehow. Yep. Yeah. So who are you to judge how you get it? And hey. good on you for having 15 minutes in your day to do one of them French press things. Man, will it taste better? Yeah, of course. It's not about taste. <laughs> right. It's right. not about the taste at that point. Mm-hmm. You need caffeine in order to go back to uh, your job. Nope. <laughs> uh. In Starbucks cafes across Europe, clearly hot drinks to go, especially those from Starbucks, are just as popular in Europe as they are in America. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there, would they? Who cares if somebody makes it at home or if they buy it from a cafe? <laughs> mm-hmm. What's going on? What is the problem here? Seriously, I am struggling to see what the problem is. The people around you look like they're all having fun chatting with each other and dancing. You are the ones stinking up the room with your horrible vibes. What? (laughs) Because they're not passing around Molly to each other, suddenly it's boring? You're at a bar! You're not at a club or a rave! Clearly there's gonna be a difference! Oh, (laughs) and also, I feel like you purposely didn't include the fact that you were there on a Sunday, more specifically, Mother's Day of that year! What were you expecting? (laughs) That's your fault! Wow! Who goes to a bar on Mother's Day? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Oh, no. It's whatever. People are gonna people. Yeah. There's there's idiots everywhere that don't do their research. Yep. Some of them are in the comment section. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Like what? I mean, there are certain parts of the country where you know uh, a Mother's Day gift is Molly, but that's that's not in Dundalk. Of... That's near Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. That's, or that's uh or Reedsville, North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no, you're not gonna go turn up on Mother's Day. I'm sorry. No, no that's where you, you, you take your mom out to brunch and you <laughs> yeah. you know you 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 say all the niceties, you get them roses and a card, you know. Yeah. Not like not taking a while, like let's get fucked up. Like, no. Unless your mom is into that kind of thing, then maybe you do that. Yep. But it's that's more of the exception, not the rule. Very true. Oh man, Mother's Day. Oh, 
day of that year! What were you <laughs> expecting? That's your fault! So we can share it! <laughs> she goes, no! So obviously, she ordered a sandwich. And the waitress brought out a tiny bread roll with absolutely nothing inside. And the responses from Europeans on this video were so annoying. <laughs> American portions versus most other parts of the world. Um, these are normal food sizes in the rest of the world. Oh my god, shut the hell up! That <laughs> is a small ass bread roll. That is gonna do nothing but make you hungrier than you were before. And they ordered it to share. What the hell are they gonna do with that? Split it in half so they get one bite of bread each? There are big portions everywhere and it's about damn time y'all start knowing that. And for the comment that pissed me off the most. <gasps> I would not be able to eat more than that. <laughs> Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You're a f***ing adult. It's about damn time you start acting like one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God bless America and our huge portions that mm. are cheaper. <laughs> my God. Like, uh, I, that's, yeah. I'll, I'll put it this way, man. You guys venture over here. You will not go hungry. Yeah. Not period. Period. In fact, yeah. get ready to gain a bunch of pounds, stone, pebbles, guinea pigs, whatever you measure <laughs> your fucking yeah. weight in. Whatever you guys measure your weight in, get yeah. ready to gain a lot of it. Yeah, you know? yeah. You're going to leave fat and happy. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That's for you, damn sure. Yeah. I, heck, every time I go to Sunday lunch with uh, my uh, family friend, Doris, who cooks for an army, our phrase around her is like, if you leave here and you're hungry, that's your own damn fault. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I could only eat. I couldn't eat more than that. What? Are oh, you a my bird? God. A bird. A, at least. I mean, look. I mean, look. My Nana, God bless her. She eats like a bird. So that would be a portion size for her. But she's 80 and she's earned that right. Yeah. My Here's my thing. If you're hungry, you order food f to fill you up yeah you know that that if i'm hungry that comes out before the real food yeah exactly whatever no, that no, that's the food your food eats that's the food my food eats you know 100 <laughs> ron swanson yep oh man you're a f***ing adult it's about damn time you start acting like one <laughs> Wow, you guys seem like a bundle of joy, don't you? <laughs> if you prefer to sit in silence and not interact with each other like you're clearly doing, then maybe the cinemas would be a more appropriate environment for you guys to hang out. Because I'd agree with you there. But you're at a restaurant where people go to talk and catch up and have fun <laughs> with each other. Are you just jealous because they're clearly having a better night than you are? This is a work of... Yeah, come on. Yeah, pretty much. I, I get it, though. Like, I get it. Etiquette. Right? I, I understand that, and I try to be mindful of it. You know? And that's why I don't go out to restaurants with my son. Oh, uh, like, yeah. You know? It, like, you have to think about it. This is people that are trying to save money don't go out too much. You know? All right, fine respect their decision to go out but there are going to be a few and far between like those bachelorette parties oh my and God. and you just rolled the dice wrong yeah it's not their yeah. fault you just that's just not the night to be there yeah what can you especially, do about it especially in nashville there's bachelorette parties yeah. everywhere on broadway yeah <laughs> it's, it's, they're gonna be loud and obnoxious yeah yeah it's like sorry you're not you gonna you're not gonna fun. tell them to stop no no <laughs> Like, or if you do, more audacity to you, more Ooh. props to you. <laughs> yeah, you want to live forever? No, no, mm -hmm. you, apparently not. So, yeah, man. Just jealous because they're clearly having a better night than you are? This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art. But this... 
this is bullshit. Okay, now y'all are just being- Okay, before we hear Whoa. her out, in and out is trash. I'm like, sorry to our California peeps. Hey, it's in not their out. fault. Their, their state's usually on fire 90% of the time. <laughs> you know, they're trying to get deleted from the map all the time. It's fine. They don't know how to do it. I, I, that didn't look appealing to me either. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll give, give this, uh, creator credit where credit is due on that last one. Yeah. The burgers are just okay. And the fries are cold and soggy, but hear me out. You, you understand that when you go to in and out, like yeah. it is not supposed to be this culinary masterpiece when you choose fast food or like right. pancakes from IHOP. No, you have signed the waiver by walking through the door. Your bar should not be high ever going to a chain. Right, right, a chain. Like there's definitely local diners that do pancakes a lot better than what was in that picture. But yeah. in terms of burgers, uh, get yourself like what a burger or Shake Shack or Five Guys. Th those are much better than no. fucking in and out but i'm at sorry same time, i said what i said at, at the same time if you're basing like a restaurant type burger to a fast food burger you're doing it wrong yeah 100 you, you go to fast food because it's fast it's unhealthy you know it's not really real and it plays a part and it'll fill you up so you don't yeah. die it'll it'll get you fed for a little bit yeah it's it's not supposed to be this moment yeah, and in fact, I remember the video we checked out recently of how France has fallen in love with American fast food. They know what its purpose is, yeah, and they they don't equate that with you know the Michelin star fine dining yeah. establishments that they are known for. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that. So I, I'm assuming that's what she's doing. She's like, this is the Europeans' version of things. This is the Americans' version of things. We don't have time to make that shit beautiful or yeah. nutritious. <laughs> or real in right, some right. cases. Yeah, right. and there are places you can get that. Just not like that. It's just the yeah. most extreme example. Yeah. <sighs> but this, this is bullshit. Okay, now y'all are just being dumb on purpose. If you want garlic bread, you know what you have to do? Ask for garlic bread. You don't have to get breadsticks. Oh, just like if you want a crepe, then ask for a crepe. Nobody's forcing you at gunpoint to get pancakes. Those foods exist in America too, you know. <sighs> now we have another one of these stupid ass slideshows of Europeans acting like they were born yesterday in American supermarkets. Um, an entire crate of vitamin water. Yeah, so, um, I don't know if you know this because clearly your prehistoric ass is stuck in 17 BC. But usually, a food or a drink company will produce mass amounts of their product so a wide variety of people can buy it. That happens everywhere. Are you just expecting them to make one singular bottle at a time? Why would anyone buy this? What, a taco kit? The world has had taco kits on shelves for almost an entire century now. Jesus Christ, it comes with a few shells, some taco seasoning, and some sauce. Why are you losing your mind? It's Best. just convenient. Man, <laughs> man, was... man, taco kits. All right. Those, they're yes. great. Oh, yeah. man. They are amazing. Yeah. I tried I tried one recently. Like, it, it was almost identical to the actual Taco Bell restaurant. I kid you not. Oh, yeah. See, one, I hate, I, I dumped these sauces. But the seasoning, the taco seasoning, and my go-to is the bowl. The taco bowl, the soft shell bowl. Yeah. So yeah. much easier. I get anxiety when I eat a hard shell taco. F oh, it. Yeah. I don't have time for that mess. Yeah. I live yeah. fast. It's, I need the best vessel to get the food in my body. Yeah. Unless it's like a cheesy gordita crunch where they put a soft... Uh, tortilla yeah. over it that's easy to eat yes yes but, but yeah the but taco kits are are god tier uh, oh, oh my yeah. god it's like hamburger helper it's like like the that like yes oh hamburger helper that's another thing that will blow a european's mind right oh, yeah. there <laughs> even, even though i can't stand it and i hate it 
but oh, okay. I get it. I I respect its place. Yeah, I love Hamburger Helper. Uh, <laughs> again, it would blow a lot of Europeans' minds. Yeah, it's just what it is. Sauce. Why are you losing your mind? It's just convenient. <laughs> Red forty products are banned where I'm from. Oh right. Is that why the European Union deems it safe for consumption? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's suspicious. Oh. That's weird. What's that one quote again? They hate us because they ain't us. I <laughs> yeah. think that's what it is. I. My. Yep, hundred percent. I I saw uh, a short the other day, where is this this dude from the UK that I follow, but that like visits the US a lot. I think a I know lot. who you're talking about, and I follow him too. Yeah, and what was it? He was like he was talking about it. It's like trendy to have jumpers with random states names over there mm. or random city names or whatever it is it's it's like sweatshirts with random american and it's like that's weird do we do that here only if you're from there and only if you're like a dad or a teacher or a professor yeah yeah you'll never unless you're like bougie you'll never see like london or uh paris yeah. or tokyo on on a, one of our uh jumpers no no and you'll, you'll see a lot of us that wear that shit um and that's because we either support the the team like the the college team yeah you know and that's kind of the like i wear a lot of uh university of maryland gear under armor gear uh and and that's that I, yeah i won't i won't be caught dead um repping something from another state no besides maryland no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just because they ain't us, I think that's what it is. I might have to fact check that. I'm not sure. Lastly, it's clear that some Europeans and Australians just want to hate America so much that they don't even try to bother to learn or to understand as to why there are some aspects about America that are different from them. I want to know what is up with Exit America. Like, why do they look like that? I have so many questions. On why are they white? Type of chicken. How do they make them white? <laughs> we don't. It's just the type of chicken. Assuming the chickens aren't like different there or something. Something funky is going on. Make them look like this. There is nothing wrong with the chicken. It is not less healthy. It's all a scam. White eggs are not superior over brown eggs the same way brown eggs are not superior over white eggs. So what is wrong with the normal spotty chicken bum egg? Nothing is wrong. We're not actively scared of brown <laughs> eggs. Remember, Australia and America are on two different parts of the world. Of course, some things are not going to be exactly the same. Like, Google is free. Anyways, guys. Yeah. Oh, and another revelation that i have recently discovered right so we refrigerate our eggs over here right. and that is because we wash our eggs for mass consumption and once you wash them it removes the membrane around the egg so we but we can't sell them in the grocery stores without washing them hence why we refrigerate our eggs and the rest of the world does not I get eggs from uh, a family friend, and yep. we you don't. don't have to, you don't, have, don't to have to wash them. We don't you have, don't have to refrigerate them. them. Yep. So, because I remember uh, Holly, she spent some time in Italy, and that was one of the things. Like, we don't, we never kept eggs in the refrigerator. I was like, that's odd, and we do over here. Egg is the same. It's just you remove that protective coating once you wash them. So that's the reason a lot of Americans. And that's one of those things that get lost across the pond. It's like, how are you refrigerating your eggs? That's yeah. why. It just got, it got washed. But yep. I think this is the end. We can end it here. Yep. But hey, this. Hey. We learned another classic uh, European versus American video here. Like you said, Google is free, y'all. That can go for us, too, though. That could go can. for us, too. It can. But at least we've put in three and a half years of effort of trying to correct it. Yeah. What effort have you tried? I, I just, I love it. I feel like the U.S., yeah, fair enough. We make ourselves a big target. But my God, do people want to be here. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's 900 and, I mean, that, that immigration to the U.S. is nuts.
Oh. He just can't quit us. No. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's one of those videos, guys. Th Thanks for playing along. Consider subscribing and watching another video. What else, Dan the Man? Unplug and do something legendary, guys. See y'all in the next one. Later.